I basically dropped out of high school, but my GPA was high enough to where I could just graduate. Uh, the first quarter or two, I was signing into class of my senior year of high school, but after that, I did not sign in. It was all online because of COVID, but the entire year, the year after COVID, it was all virtual, and I just stopped signing in because I could utilize my time better. But now I see a lot of people that are, you know, saying the same thing. I'm going to drop out of high school, which I, I technically didn't. I technically have a degree, but I didn't go to school at all. And I, I will admit, it, I'm not going to say it was stupid because I had 100% faith in myself, but for the thousands of people that do stop going to school and go all in on their business or themselves, most of them fail. That's the, the sad reality of the situation. I think it just takes so much luck. Uh, I mean, I took exuberant amounts of risk, but with that risk also came tons and tons of luck. I mean, where I am today is a few incredibly small decisions that I made to take some sort of risk, which led to meeting some sort of connection, which led to some sort of job opportunity. And I was prepared for all of them because I was working exceptionally hard, but shit takes time. And anyone who says luck did not play a role in anything they've done. I find it very hard to believe, especially to anybody that was born in America. I was living in Medellin, Colombia for a few months. And until you really go overseas to some sort of third world country, it is tough to appreciate how lucky every single person born in America is. There is actual poverty to the point where I don't know how many people, but a significant amount of people, I mean, they're probably making the average wage is probably four or $500 per month. And most people don't have electricity or running water or plumbing, not most people, but there's a significant amount of people that literally are still living in just a tin house and have to walk everywhere because they, there's no way to get around. Uh, they would be, they came even afford a, just a little scooter to transport on. I mean, that is real poverty. Those people have no opportunity for advancements in life. Any person I believe just about in a born in America has endless opportunity, has an iPhone, has a laptop, is going to school, has food, has water. There's certainly not a hunger problem in America with the obesity. There's more just a laziness, an entitlement and victimhood problem, which uh, just that alone is incredibly lucky to have those kinds of problems. I mean, just think about it. Someone in the Africa, do you think they have the ability or the virtue of blaming their wrongdoings on some sort of victimhood mentality? No, they, they just, <laughs> they would literally die because if they are not producing and uh, getting food and doing these things, I mean, it's not that bad, but they have to work for a living. So they don't have time to pity themselves. And <laughs> or you do travel a little bit, which I really haven't. I have traveled very little. It just truly makes me grateful for the position I was born into. I think everyone in America or first world countries, because you can make money online. I mean, it takes a lot of effort and it's certainly not easy, but it's quite simple. Uh, every single resource out there on, and to any degree you can get on the touch of your fingers if you're willing to put in some degree of effort. And it's not even a ton of effort. You have to work hard, but not that hard. If I'm being honest, if you just put in a regular day, let's say eight hours per day of work, trying to educate yourself some sort of way to make money online, just let's say a regular job without making anything for a year or two, you are going to be making some serious, serious money. It's almost guaranteed, not guaranteed. I'm not going to use those words, but it would be incredibly difficult to fail because the barrier to entry is so ridiculously low because people are so lazy because we have the ability to. I mean, it is so easy to be lazy now because if I wanted to, I have unlimited entertainment at the touch of my fingers along with the opportunity. It, it's a double-edged sword where I could consume unlimited bad information where I'm just draining my brain away, masturbating, getting incredibly fat, never doing anything for myself or to the opposite spectrum. You could be the top one point. 0.01% of humans to ever live when in terms of how much knowledge you have, how fit you can be because of you have everything on your touch of your fingers. You can literally be the top percent of human to ever live in with from a standpoint of how educated you are because you can learn everything from every single past generation that's ever written anything on the touch of your fingers for free, as well as how to be the healthiest human. Uh, literally, you can 
structure, the best diet, the best uh, weight training, absolutely everything at the touch of your fingers without needing any sort of degree, without really anything. But most people don't do it. I don't do it. Uh, I certainly like to think that I try. Not even at all times. I mean, I'm still a fucking lazy bastard. But I'm just slightly less lazy than other people. And I've seen incredibly good rewards with that. With just every aspect of my life. I'm not too articulate right now because it's just about midnight and got to wake up super early. But anyway, anyway, I'm just feeling quite grateful with the luck and fortunate situation. And anybody, regardless of where you are. I unfortunately know somebody who's a pretty good friend of mine and his son, his son just got into a car accident. His son, I think is 18 years, 17, 18 years old. He's in high school. He got into a car accident. The other kid with him in the car died. He lost his leg and they, he was potentially going to lose his other leg, but he fortunately got it back. I mean, if I lost a leg right now, I wouldn't care. I would trade every dollar that I would ever make for the rest of my life just to make sure that I stay in good health. So if you do have all your limbs, I mean, it just makes me want to throw up when I think of this kid. I mean, he's going to be fine in life. You know, you'd figure it out. But so much of my life is being active and doing some sort of physical activity. If I lost a leg or some sort of major limb like that, I mean, thank God he's alive because the other kid didn't make it. But I mean, I'm just thankful that I am incredibly healthy and can do whatever I want. That's that is the peak right there. No, no matter how much money you have, if you do, are not in good health, your life will be miserable. Miserable. I would rather never be able to make any more money again, but I can continue to work out and be healthy. And for me, that I would have a much better life being some sort of monk in a temple where you train every single day as opposed to being the richest person in the world, but 400 pounds overweight and just a slob. You're just, you don't realize how uncomfortable you are. And I, I really do feel bad for obese people because it would be very easy for me to get there. I can eat a ton of food and I can eat super bad. And if you let yourself slip for six months to a year, you are going to gain a significant amount of weight, especially if you're not working out. And then you can just kind of get off the horses, especially if you're young and you aren't really educated. You just got to lose the weight, man. I, I used to be chunky and I used to have some pretty serious health problems that I would just bundle up with some, some injuries that I had from the gym. And I hated life. I absolutely hated life. And I swore to myself that I would prioritize health over making money for the rest of my life. And I will continue to say that because now that I'm making a bit of money to where I don't stress about money at all, I just buy really whatever I want, which I don't really want that much. It is not that good of a feeling. It doesn't feel good at all. I mean, it, it gives you some sort of freedom and it takes stress away, but it does not provide any happiness besides ease of mind. Uh, other problems come and man, I'm just rambling, but it's so much better to have money than to not. And I'm going to continuously try and to 10 X my income, but it's, that is not any sort of joy. In fact, people definitely treat you differently. When I'm in Arizona right now, I'm in Boston for the weekend and I'm driving the 1957 Porsche speedster. People look at you and they treat you so much differently. Every single person, they'll come up and uh, try and shake your hand. They'll try and be nice to you. They'll just, they'll treat you way differently than, than when I'm driving my Toyota Camry back in Boston for the weekend. It's, I mean, when you have money, you get treated differently. 100%, there's no doubt about it because I, I don't even have the money and I'm going back and forth in comparison because everybody thinks that I'm a freaking multi-millionaire when I'm in Arizona because I'm driving such a nice car and they treat you like you are, which is way differently than I would prefer to be treated. And it does feel good. It certainly boosts your ego, but I, I would much rather just be treated like a normal person, which is now why I realized why Kenny, he drives the guy whose car that I have right now. He has, you know, this car that I'm driving, the, the Porsche, he has some Ferraris. He's, he's had just about everything and he drives just a like a pretty regular high-end luxury car, but not some sort of name brand. I actually can't even think of the name of it right now because it's not that high. It's a Range Rover. I mean, it's a nice Range Rover. It has, it's just, it's a luxury car that's comfortable, but people are not treating him differently because he's driving. And I think that's why when you have the plane, which like he does, when you have absolutely everything, you don't need to be reminded of how rich you are all the time. It's really for the young money who wants everyone to look at them and their nice car and doing all these things. Those are the people who, I mean, some of them are making a lot of money, but a lot of them are doing it because they want the attention. And when you have the money, like Kenny does, you don't want the attention. 
So it's just a funny feeling. I talked about so many different things. I don't even remember. I just had to make a video before I go to bed. Like I always do. I'm going to try when I'm back in Arizona to plan these out more because I hate making videos that are just useless. I mean, I know these are useless videos, but I don't know what the hell to talk about. Anyway, if you guys have anything for me to talk about, because I fucking guaranteed I'd do this for a thousand days, let me know. Uh, really anything. Goodbye.